Paramount Pictures still has faith in the G.I. Joe movie franchise as they are currently working on the fourth installment. This is what we know since the last movie was released in 2021, but as things move in the right direction by now? Well, stay here in the next couple of minutes and find out. As usual, let's start with a quick recap of what happened in the previous film. The franchise, which is based on Hasbro's G.I. Joe toy comic, may not have been a masterpiece so far, but it brought three movies onto the big screens and gathered a solid fan base around the world. It all started in 2009 when the first G.I. Joe movie was released named Rise of Cobra. The movie didn't go as planned, but we can say it was okay. It brought many stars together, and it was interesting to see together Channing Tatum, Dennis Quaid, and Marlon Wayans. Four years later, we watched the second one in the series, Retaliation. Again, the expectations were big, but the movie did almost as well as the first one. Tatum this time was accompanied by Dwayne Johnson and Bruce Willis. But Paramount didn't stop there, and they released another title eight years later in 2021. It was called Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins, and again, even though it was supposed to reboot the series, it didn't turn out as planned one bit. Better saying, it was a real box office disaster. The movie managed to gross only $40 million, which means that it made a huge loss, considering that the filming budget was between $88 to $110 million. Every warrior has a beginning. The movie brought a story about a beloved G.I. Joe character from the 80s, Snake Eyes. It was going something like this. Snake Eyes' life is nothing but a search for revenge after a mysterious man kills his father. Trying to find the one who did this, he'll come to work for Kent, a Yakuza boss. In order to find information about his father's murder, Kenta will task him to infiltrate into Arashi Cage Ninja Clan, where he'll manage to gain their trust, especially from their leader, Tommy. But to join them on a regular basis, Snake Eyes will have to pass the three clan trials. But trust is not the only thing why he wants to become one of the clan. The other thing is the sacred talesman, the jewel of the sun, and Snake Eyes needs to steal it for Kenta. This magic stone can magically blast fire, but our guy is not the only one who's after it. There is the Baroness, a Cobra Asian who's also trying to find this talisman. But after succeeding to steal the Jewel of the Sun and betraying the Ninja Clan, Snake Eyes finds out that the murder of his father is one of the Cobras, the people to whom he handed over the mighty weapon. Betrayed and lied to, he'll go back to the clan to help them to deal with Kenta, even though they're vulnerable right now. For 600 years, our ninja have brought peace and stability to Japan. So it's pretty much it, and the story till the end turns around the precious stone, and you have to hit that like button below the video right now. No really, what you really have to do if you watch this movie is to keep yourself focused as you'll see a lot of magic and fast-moving scenes. So if you're one of those who still haven't seen the movie, maybe the story doesn't sound to you as bad as the result the movie achieved at the box office, and not everything was so black. Besides the star from Crazy Rich Asians, Henry Golding, who portrayed Snake Eyes, the fans of the franchise were thrilled to watch Tokyo, Ursula Corbero from Casa de Papel, or in this case, The Baroness. So you'll admit, it's a real shame that a movie with these two names in the cast didn't meet the expectations and didn't manage to gross so much more. You saved my life. Why? I'm not a murderer. All of this is behind us now, and fans are constantly asking whether we'll see another G.I. Joe movie anytime soon. The so-called G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant was planned even before Snake Eyes in 2013, and it was planned to hit theaters in 2016. But it didn't happen, and there was another attempt later with the movie scheduled to be released on March the 27th, 2020 as Snake Eyes Precedence. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the intended October 23rd, 2020 release of Snake Eyes was delayed, and so was the development of Ever Vigilant. In May 2021, producer Lorenzo de Bonaventura revealed that there are multiple scripts for the sequel, but he didn't give concrete information on when the fourth movie would happen. So things are hidden under wraps right now, and maybe not even the people in Paramount know the release date or even the date when the shooting for the movie will start. If you take a look at IMDb, you will find out that DJ Caruso is the guy who's rumored to sit in the director's chair, and the script is written by Josh Applebaum and Aaron Berg. So it's logical that after the disaster with the third film, the producers and the studio will be much more cautious this time. They surely don't need another failure. They must give the audience the right thing this time. The Cobra Revolution has begun. The most interesting thing will be the cast crew for the next film. Until now, we were used to seeing big names in this franchise, but as you can see, big stars don't always mean the success is guaranteed. 
Although Snake Eyes might have been a step down from the previous two films, besides Henry Golding and Ursula Corbero, we also saw Peter Mensa as Blindmaster and Samara Weaving as Scarlet, which is nothing to compare with Dwayne Johnson and Channing Tatum. There are some rumors that Johnson is interested in reprising his role as Roadblock from Retaliation, and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video. No, really, Johnson could be back as Roadblock and Tatum could reprise Duke. Anything? I brought my own. Nice. But given the fact that Johnson is one of the busiest actors these days, it'll be hard to bring him back no matter when the next G.I. Joe movie takes place. It's very early to speak about the other names as the production is yet to start, and what can we expect from the plot in the next movie? If you've seen Snake Eyes, then you probably remember that there wasn't a post credit scene. The one thing we need to know is whether the next movie will be a sequel to the 2021 story or it will follow the events from The Rise of Cobra and Retaliation. Since we don't know anything about this second option, we can speak about the first one. And what we know from the Snake Eyes movie is that our hero Ninja will find out that his murdered father was G.I. Joe in the past, so he'll follow the same road and will accept Scarlet's offer to join the G.I.s. Given this is maybe a sure bet to say that Snake Eyes will try to revive his father's legacy by taking down both Cobra and Storm's shadow in the potential sequel. According to what Deadline wrote, Joe Shrapnel and Anna Waterhouse are writing a G.I. Joe Universe sequel where they will try to expand the franchise even more. There was also information about a potential spin-off series based on G.I. Joe franchise, and according to this rumor, Amazon Prime Video is planning to bring another character to the throne, and that's Lady Jai, the famed undercover operative who was played by Adrian Palicki in Retaliation. Larry Hama, who created the Snake Eyes character in the comic books, last year spoke to Comic Book Movie, where he shared his thoughts about the future of the franchise. The idea was to set up all these things that could be utilized in subsequent sequels for continuations, and that's why Scarlet and Baroness are brought in. They don't play a super active part in the ongoing scenario within the movie, they're there to tease the bigger universe and what comes next. In a movie like this, you want to establish all these things ahead of time, so next time you're ready to roll," said Hama. In the end, I must mention that there's a real chance that Paramount could unite the two Hasbro brands, Transformers and G.I. Joe in a crossover film where we could see the Autobots and G.I. Joe teaming up against the Decepticons. So, from what we can see, this franchise has a lot of future and it could be bright with the right movies, the right team, and the right scenarios. Let's stay patient and see what's going to happen. Thanks for watching and see you next time.